Hey guys, it's Matt and Sarah, and today we're going to be talking to you about our Starlink setup, which is up there on the roof, and how we use it with our Arctic Fox 1150 truck camper. So as you can see behind me, there's a cable going down from the window and up to the Starlink, and that's just because that we didn't want to mount it with putting a cable through the roof at this time, and we want to be able to have it optional, so if we want the Starlink on the roof, or if we want to bring it out to here, that we have the flexibility to do that. So we're going to walk through the inside of the camper, show you guys what we did, how we made it work with the window, and then we'll show you on the roof what the Starlink is like, and then go through a little bit of setup stuff. We're inside our Arctic Fox 1150 truck camper, and we're up on the bed right now, looking over towards this. So some of you might have this as a full cabinet option. Uh, we did not get that. This is where the TV would mount, and then it's just got a little counter spot here. This is usually where we put the Starlink router. And what's really nice with this router is we can easily go two to 300 feet away from the truck camper and still have reception. Um, so that works really nice when we're walking around outside or if we're in the general area, our phones don't disconnect because it's pretty powerful. Um, with the router, we have everything plugged in right now. The Starlink itself plugs in on the left side and then on the right side right there in the middle is just the power unit. So that just plugs in right there. And then it comes with 75 feet of cord, but we obviously don't need that much since we're putting it on the roof right now, unless we need to put it far away from the truck camper. So we just run the cord right down here along the back of the sink and out through this window. So I'm gonna hand this over to Sarah in a second, but let me just show you here how this works so we don't pinch the cord. So we usually open the window up a little ways, just like that. And there's a little groove right in here that the cord fits in perfectly. So we just close the window a little bit, just to have a little wiggle room. And then I'm gonna hand the camera over to Sarah. And we've just got these dish towels here. We just use these to fill in the gaps since they're thin enough, but they're still a little bit insulated. Um, this way we can keep the mosquitoes out, we can keep rain out, um, anything like that. So we just wedge these in around the edges, and obviously you have to take the screen off to be able to do that. And that's all we do for setup. And we run the wire along the outside, plug it into the Starlink, and then walk it up to the top of the truck camper. Next, we're going to show you what the Starlink app is like from my smartphone. So usually it takes the Starlink maybe two or three minutes to find a satellite when it first faces upward and then at that point it, you'll hear it move again for two to three seconds and it'll self-adjust more for finer details so it has a good connection so right now it shows that our starlink is online our name is infinite explorers and it'll gather obstruction data so we can actually see how good it is um, in the current spot that it's at, which right here, we've got a couple trees and mountains around us, but we haven't had any issues with it dropping in the coverage. So it shows right now we have five devices connected to it since we have laptops and phones. And then in here, you can look at the statistics of it. So here's our uptime, which is showing the outages. Right now, we've really had no outages at all. Um, and then it can show all of the data going through. Um, you can also look at how much data you've used in the month on the app as well. Um, and one thing we like to check in different areas is the speed test. So right now we'll do a speed test of it and see what we're getting. So right now it is a cloudy day out, high winds, a um, couple mountains around us and trees. We were getting about 100 megabytes per second like two hours ago, but obviously that'll change from time to time. And then we're getting about 15 megabytes per second upload and right now we're just east of Jasper in Canada. So that's just the information for where we're running that from. So there's other things you can play around with in the app if you decide to get Starlink, but that'll just give you the general idea of it. And then when we're ready to take the Starlink down, we go into the settings, select Starlink, and you can either put, turn snow melt on if you need it or not, depending on if it's snowing in your area, but you just swipe this over to the right and that will still the Starlink, and at that point you can take it down. So it usually takes us like a minute to put it up. It's very easy to do. 
So we're up on the roof now of the truck camper and we just wanted to show you guys an up close detail shot of the Starlink itself. So as you can see, it's got a flat surface on the top, which is really, really nice for rain and snow. That way it can just drip down off the end. And then you can see that we have two weights down here. We only put those up here on windy days just so we don't have any risks of it blowing over. It would take quite a bit of wind to blow it, but we don't want to risk it when we're out in the middle of nowhere. And then the cord is over here. It just plugs right in through the frame. The, and then the pedestals you see right here separates, or the post I should say, separates from the base. So right here, this piece will separate from that just by a button push. And then the cable just slides right in and you're good to go. So here's one last look of it. So one last bit of information is how do we run the Starlink? So we have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries in the side of our compartment right there. And we have a 2000 watt inverter. So that powers the Starlink. It usually uses around 50 watts. Um, it can use more if it has to heat itself in the winter, but it's really not that much for power. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And we've been really happy with our Starlink so far. We just got it at the end of April this year and we've used it all over Alaska and Canada and we've had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, the power has been great, the connection has been great, and I think it really helps to be truly out in remote areas like this where there's not many people around us in general. So there's not a lot of people connecting to the satellites up there. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.